it's me, Miss Ribbon Sweet Cheeks, and I am here with another face mask tray. You know how I do, but today I got a special treat just for you. You know how I always talk about milk and how Cleopatra sworn by her beauty with milk, milk baths. She was like, she come on, she was the premier beauty guru of her time. She studied it all. Science, humanity, ecology, everything. She was a she was verse to it. So when she says to, to bathe in sour donkey milk, you know we all gotta do it, right? Right. Ta-da! I hid away some milk and let it sour for a few days. It is so lumpy and it is disgusting. But if it works for the goddess herself, then it's gonna work for us too, right? Right. So I'm gonna add in some turmeric, because turmeric is a really lovely antiseptic. It's a lovely anti-inflammatory. It is gonna prevent our dead skin cells from clumping and clogging our pores when we use this sour milk face mask to gently remove all of our dead skin cells and tissues, all that grossness that we don't want on our face. Round two, darlings. If it's good enough to do twice in one week, it's good enough for you to do once, am I right? Don't worry about the smell. If it ain't broke, <laughs> well, that's not the right thing. But trust me when I say this, if you want to glow and it's the perfect mask for the weekend, turmeric is gonna brighten, right? Sour milk is going to take away that dead layer of skin so we're left glowing and beautiful. I'm telling you, this lactic acid is the perfect exfoliant that we all need. And if I can make a recommendation when doing this, feel free to gently rub it to encourage, this is a physical exfoliation, this will gently encourage any dead skin cells to release themselves we don't got time for you here. What I love about this mask is you can actually feel it working. So you're gonna get a light tingling, kind of a burning sensation, and that's the lactic acid eating away at that dead skin scale, dead skin cell connection. It actually does eat away at it. That way we can wash it away. You know me, I'm obsessed with this caffeine under eye. It's gonna get rid of all my dark circles, and what I love about like multi-masking is it serves as a barrier so it doesn't drip down my face. So if you have a little, I always have a little extra in the fridge of this one. So if I'm masking and I recommend masking once a week, we're gonna look flawless, darlings. Are you ready for this? You're ready. Let it sit for 10 minutes and if your mask has worked properly, your skin is gonna feel baby bottom smooth but there's gonna be a little bit of tightness and maybe a little bit of redness because we're, we've exposed our fresh baby skin. So we've compromised our pH. How do you rebalance your skin pH? Tony! Enter here, my crystal toner. All you do is mist. So I keep that in the fridge to help tone and even set my makeup. And it's a beautiful, refreshing thing. But one more thing before you go, moisturize. I don't use any creams or moisturizers, but what I do use is this wonderful facial oil, which I make here myself. So there is a face massage that I like to do, which is important because it releases any buildup or limp that could be like, you know, <laughs> hiding there somewhere. But always move in, in the upward direction. Never tell. Don't help gravity. Mm -hmm.